My mentor told me that form, form predicts content and then content pushes the form. So doing web video, you kind of have an idea of what that form is, but then it's our job as filmmakers to push that, push the envelope, see how far you can take it, and that's how things move forward. Is there, are you approaching things differently from what you're shooting and the stories you're trying to tell because of the technology? Does, does your content change? No, it's all, everything gets boiled down to what's the story. And that's no matter what medium. Now it's good to know what medium you're initially shooting for so you could know the limitations and the adjustments for it. But we're entering a world where it's like all becoming one medium. So what you shoot for the web now if you're shooting 1080p or HD or 720, that could just as easily go on a, a bigger a television, a film screen, a mobile phone. So while it's important to know the medium you're shooting for, it's always good to keep in mind that it could be accessible to, to all. Yeah, and that's the interesting thing is the democratization of all of this. You know, the camera we're shooting on is 16 by 9 uh, HD. You know, and, and we have really expensive cameras, but this, on the other hand, is just pretty simple stuff that people can buy for 150 bucks. What does that mean for the future for folks who can get a similar rig like this? When before we were the gatekeepers with our $60,000 cameras, nobody else could do it. You know, Francis Ford Coppola said in uh, Heart of Darkness that the next filmmakers. Um, this is during the filming of Apocalypse Now, that the, the next filmmakers will be a 12-year-old kid out of Ohio, and I think we're finally starting to see that come about. However, it's not so much about the tools that we have, it's about the voice that we're trying to express and what we're trying to say. So just like pen and paper have been around for thousands of years, and that's a pretty open source technology, you know, how many great novels have been written? How many, you know, so it's really about how you use the tools, not the tools themselves. What do you think we're going to start seeing from people, too? Because as, as new and different people get access to mediums like this, what they're going to be shooting and the stories they're going to be telling are going to be really different. What have you seen already with that? Just a closer actualization of this real-time reporting. Things that are happening in real time, quickly being put on the web, put on television. Where before, I mean, I guess you have live television to cover events, but now it's... Uh, your average consumer, your average citizen who's out there kind of creating the news. And that's a, that's a big part of the, the story and how why we're seeing such a disruption in traditional media.